welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Nicole. I am a homeschool mama. So I like doing morning basket videos. I like sharing them with you and I like having the record for me. Um, so today I'm going to do a morning basket video because I haven't done one in forever. I haven't done one, I don't think, since October and it is December now. So very crazy. So I'm going to go through what is our core and then all of the novelty kind of things we have read. So the first thing, if you have seen any of my previous videos, I am doing Apologia Astronomy. I am about halfway through it. We are uh, thoroughly enjoying this. Um, it's a really great uh, curriculum and it is great for my second grader and um, my four-year-old. We have taken a little bit of a break from most of our core um, morning basket stuff because my four-year-old has been in a little church preschool, um, just part-time, couple hours a week, and it has been amazing, but she really likes to participate in our morning basket, and she hasn't been able to. Either she's at school, she gets home from school, and she's too tired, or the next day we are just so busy with other things. And on top of that, I am managing a newly two-year-old who is absolutely insane and crazy. So we've taken a little bit of break from that. I've changed what I'm doing. I used to do morning basket in the very much like that loving, um, literature heavy, Charlotte Mason-y kind of way of on the couch and the kids are coloring and all that stuff. We are not in that stage right now. The stage of life we are now in is we are doing it during lunchtime. So not every day, but a lot of days while the girls are eating lunch, I will read our morning basket to them. That way my two-year-old is distracted and eating and my older girls can get the morning basket. They, they really, really do enjoy, but we have not been able to get in. Um, so we are doing astronomy, really liking that. We are still working through um, the Brave Girls Bible stories. This is Celebrating Great Women of the Bible. We've been doing this all school year. We are almost done. I can't tell, see if you uh, can tell. We love this. I love that it is focusing on the women of the Bible, and um, that's really good for our my girls. I have girls. I want them to see strong women. Um, the story of the Bible, story of the Bible, that's not what this is called, the story of the world, ancients, we really like, and actually my four-year-old really likes it as well. Um, if something gets pushed off to do a different day, a lot of times it is this, because it does have some cool hands-on activities. It has some cool um, coloring pages, but I'm not always prepared, if that makes sense. So we are just below halfway through this book. I wanted to be closer to halfway at this point in the school year, but that's okay. We're working through at our own pace. A book that I'm really enjoying that we are going to just continue to work through is the Children's Book of Virtues. Love this. What I've been doing is picking a trait that we, are, we will work on for a couple, either a week or a couple weeks. And then I'll find um, stories or poems or whatever in here that have to pertain to this. So this is broken up into like honesty and working hard and stuff like that. So um, that is a great book. Highly recommend it. Got it at a thrift store for not very much money. The next book we have read um, already and it's beautiful is Come Next Season. We read this around October because of the change of the seasons very beautiful um, picture book there. I'll probably read it multiple times um, throughout the year just because going through the seasons. Um, another book that I'm really, I really liked, but we are taking a break from right now. It is the holiday season. It is Christmas. So we are reading Christmas books every single day. Um, not a part of our morning basket, but a part of our nighttime routine. We are, we have a book picked out for every day of December. So this is on the back burner right now, but this is the Waldorf Book of Poetry. I've been trying to integrate a little bit more poetry into our homeschool. Um, down the road, I would like to actually incorporate some memory work. And I have not done that yet, but I think that this would be a great book to do some memory work with. Um, the thundering of elephants that you hear, if you can hear it, are my kids playing upstairs. I'm in the schoolroom, which is in the basement. So... Um, this has season stuff and history and a bunch of different things really great uh, to utilize. And then the last thing that I am kind of using but will continue to use even more so is the core knowledge, what your preschooler needs to know. 
absolutely love these books. If, again, if you've seen any of my stuff, you know that I do. The preschool one is really pretty light and um, I really enjoy this. It has literature, science, um, music, history, art, and all of that. We will be utilizing that even more. My daughter is going to stop going to her current preschool. It's just not working out well and it's actually causing more of a headache for us right now um, than it's worth. Um, we, she went last year, so little, it's our church preschool. She absolutely loves it or she loved it last year. And this year it's a lot different. There's a lot more restrictions and um, it's a lot harder on the kids and the teachers. And it's also kind of disrupting our homeschool day and life. And she wants to be here with us and being able to participate. So we're going to put pre-K on the back burner for her at pre-K, at her preschool that was just very part-time. And we're going to do it solely at home, which I was already doing a little bit at home. And we're going to definitely be utilizing this book along with other things. So the read-alouds that we have read since, I think, October are Zoe and Sassafras, Dragons and Marshmallows. We have already read this, but this was in my daughter's. Um, she's in two book clubs, one a neighborhood book club, one a Girl Scout book club. And she's recently been invited to be in a homeschool book club. That would be three book clubs. That is insane. I don't know if I'll do the third one. Um, book clubs are awesome because you get to read books that maybe you wouldn't have read. And right now they're cool because they're all on Zoom. And I'm not a huge proponent of the Zoom stuff for kids, but it's kind of cool because then it's not very disruptive to my life. We can set her up on the computer in the dining room, help her when she needs it for that one day a month um, little meeting that they have and they have fun activities and stuff. So we did Zoe and Sassafras. We love this series. We love this book. Um, I don't know what the age range is for this. Both my four and a half year old and my almost eight year old love this series. I like it because after they read these books, they always end up playing scientists, which is so fun and adorable to see. Um, we also read A to Z Mysteries. This, again, is a book club book. This is Detective Camp. Um, this is, a, I think it said six to nine-year-old book. It has some pictures. What's cool about this one is every time there was a picture, you had to search for a letter clue, and you would write it down, and by the end of the book, you could answer their riddle that they had, and that's really fun. Um, these are okay books. I'm not, I wasn't in love with it, but I didn't hate it. If she wanted to rent some from the library for us to read, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind or check them out, whatever. Um, the next book that she really did like and both girls really liked was The Boxcar Children. I was a huge fan of Boxcar Children when I was little, so it's kind of heartwarming that she likes that they both like this. Um, this was for book club as well. It's, um, it has few pictures, um, but I really like boxcar children. We're definitely going to um, check some of these out from the library in the future or during the summer or whatever. Uh, really liked these, and they loved that it was about siblings. It's always good to see good sibling relationships. The next book and that we have is The Wild Robot. This was for her Girl Scout book club. Um, it's not for her troop. It is for our um, area of Girl Scouts. I don't know what age this is for. So she liked it. She was all into it until we got to here. And then she started having nightmares about this book. She will be turning eight next week, so she's almost eight. Um, but she definitely started having nightmares and um, not loving it. So we haven't finished it. But I think the fact that it's giving her nightmares means that it's not a book for right now. Um, and then my four-year-old did not enjoy, would not participate in that book. She didn't like it at all. The next book we did for the Girl Scout troop is Wish. Um, I have, um, this is a, this is a good book, but it's for nine to 12 year olds. My daughter is almost eight and all the girls in the troop are either seven or, or not troop, but the book club are either seven or eight. And I think that this book probably would be better suited for that older range, minimum probably nine. Um, definitely makes sense for me that it's for 12 year olds. It is a heavy, 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 heavy book. It says Charlie Reese has been making the same secret wish every day since fourth grade. Um, she is, the character in the book is a little girl whose father's in jail and mother is um, 
a neglectful mother. She gets sent to live with her aunt. It's a very, 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 very sad, heavy book. Um, quite honestly, we had her listen, my daughter listened to it on um, audiobook, and we didn't realize how heavy and sad it was until we were kind of listening to it with her. Um, so I think definitely wait on this book. It has some heavy topics on it. The good news for my daughter is, is that she, um, is kind of innocent and she is younger. So she, a lot of the topics went over her head. She didn't quite understand. And the topics that she kind of did, we could discuss, but that was an interesting, um, book. Really, really heavy, probably closer to the 12 year old age. The book that we picked for our book club is um, Goonie Bird Green. This is about a second grader who's eccentric. I've talked about this book. We have read it previously. And this is what she wanted to do for her month for book club. So we are going to be reading this. This is um, complete opposite of this. This is a really sweet, innocent book. We've never read any of the other ones in the series, but I think she, my daughter wants to. So this will be what we read um, this month. So... Those are all the books we've been reading um, for December. I'm going to continue to read our Christmas books that we have been reading every night. Um, we are rereading Goonie Bird Green just so we are prepared to host our Zoom meeting. And um, we're going to focus on our core of Morning Basket, which is science, history, character, and then um, we're going to throw this in when we can. So that's what we're doing. That's how Morning Basket has been going. Um... It is what it is. This is a crazy year and not everything goes as planned um, any year, but especially this year. So those are the books we've read. I hope it gives you some ideas um, for your own morning basket.